Okay, for the subcostal view, again, the subcostal view looks at the same heart from the right side, from the abdomen, and we use the liver as a medium for the ultrasound to go through. Okay, so there are two big, there are two views for the subcostal. The four chamber view is ex is also a coronal view like the apical four chamber. Mm -hmm. So with the apical four chamber, we get a coronal view from the okay. apex. Here we, we get a coronal view from the right side. What you should do is, with the subcostal, there is not much of a movement. You just keep the probe in the ziphi sternum. So that's the ziphi sternum, so just below that. You go slightly to the right side of the ziphi sternum rather than to the left because on the left side you have stomach which may have gas. On the right side you have liver which is vascular. And it allows the ultrasound beam to go through. So the now, how you hold the probe for the subcostal is, you should not have any part of your finger under the probe. Oh. Because you need, you need to almost angle the probe on the patient's abdomen. So you hold all, pa all, the thing, all parts of the finger, everything will be above, will be on the superior surface of the probe, nothing inferior. So holding, and then the probe marker will face the right side. Typically, it will face somewhere between the 3 o'clock position and the 4 o'clock position because that's, the, that's where the heart is. So this is how you're going to scan. Okay? So I call it the dip and the tilt method. So what you do is you first keep it on the pro, on the abdomen, get the liver. Okay, now that's actually cut. Okay. Nice peristalsis. So I'm going to, that's the liver. So I'm going slightly to the right side and that's the liver. That's your portal vein there. Okay, then slowly I dip inside and I tilt slight slowly, 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 slowly towards the heart and the heart should start appearing as I'm tilting. See? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Now see how deep it is because yeah. the heart is very deep from the subcostal plane. It's somewhere here. So it's already 15 centimeters and you can't see. So let me increase the depth. Yeah. And now... Yeah. As you tilt, and then what you do is you actually have to pull, push the probe in to get more of the heart. Okay, mm -hmm. and then as you're pushing the probe in, you also you also have to go under the sternum and skim the under surface of the sternum. Okay, if that's the sternum, you actually just you want the ultrasound beam to just go under the under the in, in the uh, just deep to the sternum. Okay. So, once again, right side, liver, okay, then get it perpendicular, get the liver, then slowly start dip, tilting the probe and dip under the sternum and the heart should come into view, okay, and that's your, and then what you do is, you can do, you can't do much movement here because you're stuck in that area, but what you can do is, you can actually rotate a little bit and make an oblique axis a longer a coronal axis okay so that's the right ventricle that's the left ventricle that's the aortic valve if the if you're getting the aortic valve the aortic valve is anterior if you think of your parist on a long axis the aortic valve appears anteriorly and that the mitral valve mm -hmm. so if you want the four chamber view with mitral valve you have to tilt a little bit more posterior just a little bit okay so that's that's how much you tilt Okay, and you'll, I'm not able to get a real, uh, not, I'm going to move a little bit more to a, towards the right side to get rid of the stomach because I think everyone has had a nice lunch. Okay. Stomach is full. Okay, right ventricle, left ventricle, right atrium, tricuspid valve. I'm not able to really see the, the left atrium very well. I'm going to rotate and see whether I can open it up. I can see that that's the mitral valve now. Yeah. Okay, now for an advanced slightly more advanced thing you can get the same parasternal uh, you can get the same short axis views from the subcostal view so see this is the short axis one two three four if you just send if you think about it you can send the same axis from here one two three four so what i'm going to do is i'm going to slowly now that i'm having the probe marker facing anteriorly Okay, and the beam is now going towards 
the apex of the, in this instance the apex of the ventricle mm. that's the right ventricle that's the apex that's nice and round that's a short axis view and that mm. thing there i think is the mitral valve i can see one leaflet of the mitral valve i can't see the other so now what i'm doing i'm going to do is if i want the apex i have to sweep the probe towards the uh, left for yeah. the arm yeah. here and if i want the aortic valve i have to go towards the clavicle so if i sweep from see the left arm towards the clavicle step by step i'll go from the apex of the left ventricle to the papillary muscle to the mitral valve to the aortic valve okay so now let's start this is to a, this is somewhere in the left arm okay that's the apex of the left ventricle that's the liver right ventricle left ventricle i'm now going to go slightly towards the left shoulder here i've already got the mitral valve yeah. so i'm going to go back towards the left um, um arm to get the papillary muscle i'm not really getting a good papillary muscle view so i'm going to just abandon it for this but that's the idea then i go back see that's the leaflet of the mitral valve yeah. and now i'm actually here i'm aiming here towards somewhere near the clavicle and lateral edge of the clavicle and then i'm going to tilt even further towards the medial edge see that's the i mm -hmm. that's the um, pulmonary artery that's the pulmonary artery that's it's the exact same and that's the aortic valve there okay that's the right ventricular outflow tract view that you will see in, in the parasternal uh, short axis mm -hmm. i'll go back to the parasternal short axis to demonstrate that but that's the right atrium that's the tricuspid valve here and that whole thing is the pulmonary artery and this thing in the middle is the aortic yeah. valve right. okay and here the axis is here somewhere here mm -hmm. okay now if i want the same thing from the parasternal view okay so here this this view let me just take the probe all the way there and keep it here and attempt the same thing from here that's the mitral valve mm. okay let me increase uh, decrease the depth mm. that's the tricuspid that's the r r a right atrium that's the tricuspid valve this is in between the mitral mm. aortic and the mitral so firstly let me get the aortic valve view by tilting a little bit more anteriorly and as i'm doing that i'm going from the oblique view to the proper view and here what you'll see now is a ra right atrium tricuspid valve and that's the right ventricular outflow tract and that structure there is the pulmonary valve mm. and this is the pulmonary artery okay mm. yeah see now i'm getting it here from the uh, paras from the subcostal we got it from here okay so almost the same we got a much better shot of the pulmonary artery it was nice and long from here so let me just I'll try and rotate the probe and see whether i can get the pulmonary artery better slowly this is the mitral valve view aortic valve which is i'm, I'm tilting and that's i'm not really here i'm not able to get it much well because you can see that the lung is coming yeah. hmm. laterally from here we could get a much better pulmonary artery view there is no um there was no interference okay the depth now see you can see mm. the pulmonary artery beautifully from here you have a little bit of the pulmonary artery you have a little bit of the pulmonary artery here but the lung is coming in the view see that's the pulmonary artery there and i'm having the a line so that's the pulmonary artery there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Where is the IVC? IVC, the two um, iliac veins mm -hmm. will join somewhere here, yeah. and then the IVC will come slightly towards the right of the midline. Mm -hmm. That's your liver here. Yeah. Okay. That's your liver. The IVC will come slightly towards the right of the midline. Mm -hmm. Okay. and then it will join the right atrium here mm -hmm. so what we want is the ivc in its long axis yeah. so how will the probe be uh, how will how will how should you uh, what will be the plane uh, sagittal sagittal beautiful parasagittal okay mm -hmm. so 
when you do the subcostal view, mm -hmm. I showed you the subcostal, so increase the depth again. Yeah. That's the liver. Yeah. Okay. I showed you the subcostal long axis, this, yeah. one. this one. And then I showed you the subcostal short axis, which you get by rotating gradually. Mm -hmm. The extreme rotation towards the right is the IVC view. So, mm -hmm. why now? As you're coming there, okay, so that's the right atrium, okay. Mm -hmm. That's the right atrium. As I'm rotating slowly, slowly, slowly towards the ceiling, I should start mm -hmm. getting the IVC somewhere here. And remember, that's yeah. that's the plane of the IVC. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to scan medially uh, to the right side and the left side. And what you want to do is to see the IVC entering the RA through the liver. Okay, see that, yeah. there. that thing there is the yeah, IVC. Is now you want the whole of the IVC, so I'll just put some color for you to be able to see. Mm -hmm. That's the hepatic vein that you mm -hmm. could see, okay. You want the whole of the IVC to come, mm -hmm. okay. Now if you are a little bit oblique, so if that's the IVC, and you are oblique like this, mm -hmm. you will cut off part of the IVC. Mm -hmm. And depending on which part you have cut off, you have to rotate that way. Mm -hmm. So if you are oblique in this direction, mm -hmm. you will be cutting off the inferior edge of the IVC. Mm -hmm. You may be able to see the superior part entering the uh, right atrium, but the inferior part that's going through the liver and the abdomen, you'll be cutting off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once again, get the four chamber. Mm -hmm. Slowly rotate the probe and as you are rotating the probe, you should start seeing that IVC mm -hmm. entering the right atrium. Okay, so there, yeah. that one. Okay, now I will rotate even, sorry, my bad. Sorry, it hurts, I know. Okay, so that is the IVC entering the right atrium, mm -hmm. but I can see the I can see the right atrial side well, but I can't see the inferior. I can't see the uh, the inferior aspect, the abdominal aspect of the IVC. So what should I do? I have to slightly. In this instance, what I'm doing is I'm sweeping the probe slightly to the right, and see, I'm now able to open the whole of the IVC through the liver. Okay, that is what you must want. That is what you want. Okay. Now, one very important thing: the iota is on the left side. And the difference, and it will look exactly like the IVC, it will be nice and long, okay. You can't depend on pulsation because sometimes the IVC will pulsate because of the iota, transmitted pulsation of the iota or because of tricuspid regurgitation. Mm -hmm. What is important is the iota will be behind the heart, the IVC will enter the heart. Mm -hmm. The IVC should enter the RA, the iota will be behind the left atrium. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Now that's the IVC, now I'm deliberately going to go to the iota will be on the left side of the midline. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm slowly going to scan to the left side of the midline, and I should be able to see the iota. Just a second. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the iota, and mm -hmm. the iota will not enter the. See, the whole of the iota is posterior. See. Yeah. It's posterior to the heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are not. Because you are not seeing the origin of the iota. This is the abdominal iota and the descending thoracic iota. So you should not get confused between this mm -hmm. and the IVC. Okay. Now if I am going to, if I slowly, slowly, slowly go towards the right side, I will actually see that is the mm -hmm. IVC and that is entering the RA here. Yeah. Okay, got it? Yeah. This is the superior, uh, this is the thorax, this is the abdomen. Okay.